If you've been looking for a fast and reliable way to digitize books, documents, or even present physical materials during a live session, you're gonna to wanna to check this out because in today's video, we're unboxing and walking through the Caesar Shine Ultra, a document scanner that also doubles as a visual presenter video recorder. And I'll show you what's inside the box, how to set it up, and how to use its key features. And whether you're an educator, a content creator, or just someone looking to streamline your workflow, this device offers a lot of value right out of the gate. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So I wanna thank Caesar for sending me this Shine Ultra Scanner. I've seen some ads for their products, but I've never used them, so I was excited to try this one out and see what it could do. And this particular model is going for around $200 on Amazon. They also have a Shine Ultra Pro that you can get for around $300 as well. But the main difference between these two comes down to camera quality, speed, and connectivity. And I'll be sure to link to these products in the video description below. Okay, back to the unboxing. Out of the box, it looks like we get the user manual. Then there's a one pager that contains the steps to download the product software and even a CD, which I assume is another way to access the product software if you have a CD-ROM. But either way, I'll be walking you through the entire setup and software download a little later on in the video. Next, we have the Shine Ultra Scanner. It comes folded up, which I'll show you how to extend it in just a bit, but the build quality feels solid and professionally made. Doesn't feel cheap and flimsy, which is good. And it's also compact and has a really nice aesthetic to it. This means no bulky equipment sticking out and taking up space in your workstation. Next, there's this black soft pad. This is used as a backdrop for whatever it is that you're scanning. It's separate from the scanner, but they are used at the same time. And I'll show you how that works in a few minutes. Next, we have a USB cable, and they mark each box with what's in it, so it makes it a lot easier to stay organized whenever you're unboxing everything and putting it together. But this cable is USB-B to USB-A, and the B side plugs into the scanner, and the A side plugs into your computer. Now, if you don't have a USB-A port on your computer, like me, then you'll need to use an adapter, just FYI. Next are the COTS for book scanning. These are little add-ons that you basically wear on your fingers to hold the pages down as you're scanning your documents. I'm not doing a good job at showing you how to wear them right now, but in a little bit, I'll show you how these work. You essentially use these if the pages of your book won't stay flat. This lets you keep a flat surface without having your fingers in the way of the scan. The last component in this box is the foot pedal, and I believe this is an optional add-on, but this connects to the scanner and allows you to take scans by pressing it with your foot basically giving you a hands-free experience so you're not having to click the mouse to scan each document. This is especially useful if you're using the finger cots or if you're scanning multiple documents. All right, that's everything in the Shine Ultra Scanner box. Next, let's go over how to download the software and connect the scanner to your computer. To use the scanner with a computer, you'll need to download the free software to your device. And the easiest way to do this is by visiting caesar.com, and I'll link to that in the video description below. And from the home page within the nav at the top of the screen, click on where it says download software. Next, you'll need to select your device model. For this video, I'm using the Shine series Shine Ultra. So I'll select that one from the list. Next, you'll be presented with a few options in terms of what product software to download. There are four to choose from, and based on your particular setup, this part may vary, but there are essentially PC or Mac versions of the software. And for this example, I'm using my MacBook Pro, so I'll select the Mac version of the software. But once you select the software that is compatible with your computer, it will begin downloading. Now, this took a few moments to finish downloading, so while we have a few seconds, let me show you some videos and help docs. So you can access some great step-by-step -step videos here. Again, these are great if you're new or need visual guidance on how to get started with your device. There are also digital versions of the user manuals that you could access here, offered in various languages too, pretty cool. And there's also PDFs of the software manuals that you could access here as well. 
Okay, once the software is finished downloading, you'll open the downloader. It should be in your downloads file. And once opened, you'll be prompted to agree to the terms. So click agree. And next, you'll need to drag the app to the applications folder like so. Then you should see the new Caesar app in your applications folder within the finder. So go ahead and click on that to open it. And if this is your first time using it, you'll need to enter your device's serial number in order to use it. And the serial number is located on the bottom of your device. I've blocked mine out for security purposes, but it'll be located next to where it says SN. And it will be similar to these numbers and letters. Now these are obviously fake, but there will be five sets of numbers and letters. And this is what you'll enter into the software in order to connect the scanner to your computer and use the device. Then back at the software setup, I've entered the serial numbers and blurred it out for security purposes. But once you've entered your serial number, click the confirm button. And next you'll be asked where you bought Caesar from. Go ahead and select the one that pertains to you and click the next button. Then you'll be asked to enter an email address. Caesar will email you some help guides and tutorials to that email. So keep an eye out for those. And then once you click the submit button, you'll have access to the scanner software and you can begin scanning your documents. But first, let me show you how to set up and connect the scanner to a computer. Now that we've unboxed the scanner and set up the software, it's time to connect everything so we could start to actually scan documents. So what you're looking at right now is the bottom of my scanner. And there are two ports. The one on the left is a USB-A port and it's for the foot pedal. And then the one on the right is the USB-B port and that is for the actual scanner. So first let's start with the USB-B cable. It looks like this. And again, all you'll do is plug it into the port on the right that is marked with the computer icon. Next, if you have the foot pedal, you'll plug the USB-A side of the cable into the port on the left that's marked with the foot icon on the bottom of the scanner. Next, there may be this protective film over the base of the scanner. Go ahead and peel that off. And then let's connect the scanner cable to the computer. Now, the cable that came with the scanner is a USB-B to USB-A cable. However, my MacBook Pro doesn't have any USB-A ports, so I had to use this USB-C adapter. It cost me about $20, but once the adapter is in place, simply plug it into the computer like so. And you will now be able to use the software with the scanner on your laptop. Next, you have some options when it comes to adjusting the height of the scanner. As you can see, if you pull up on the side that has the blue marker, this allows you to raise the height of the camera that is located on the second arm, which when you pull it out, will stretch out over the top of the table like so. Next, grab the black foam pad and place it at the base of the scanner. There will be a notch on one side that will align with the base, giving you a sleek and smooth backdrop for your documents. And on that note, Let's move on and scan a book. Scanning documents is surprisingly super easy with Caesar Shine Ultra. For the first example, I'll scan some of my daughter's math homework from one of her school's textbooks. So first, place the book that you want to scan on the pad like so. I'll show you how to adjust the scan within the software in just a bit. But before we do, I want to point out that this little knob controls the light brightness. Turn it left and right to brighten or darken the light, and then pressing it once turns the light off and on. You'll have a better idea of how bright or dark you'll need it once you start scanning documents. And on that note, let's do just that. So let's head to the computer. And from the Caesar Scan app, you'll have two options. You can open the scanner or the visual presenter. The scanner is where you'll scan physical documents and turn them into digital media. And the visual presenter is like a modern projector where you can actually project what the scanner is seeing and even record video. We'll go over both features in this video, but first let's check out the scanner. So selecting that option from the home screen of the app will take you to the preview interface. Now, if you're brand new, this may seem overwhelming, but I can assure you that once you scan your first document, it'll become super easy to figure out. So let's do just that. First, make sure you have the scanner selected. You can toggle between the scanner and the visual presenter here at the top of the screen. Then remember we have the book placed under the scanner's camera. And then to actually scan the document, 
Click the Scan button located in the bottom right corner. This will open the scanner environment, and here we could actually see the document being scanned in real time. One thing I want to point out is the orange line around the book. This is what will scan, and the great thing about Caesar is that it automatically wraps around your documents. No need to manually adjust it. However, there is a manual selection option that I'll show you in just a bit. Next, on the right, you can configure the color mode and processing method. We won't be going through all of these, but here you can dictate the color of your scans as well as the method. There's flat single page, facing pages, which scans two pages at once, combined slides, manual selection, and even a no processing method. Then towards the very bottom is the scan button and rotating feature, as well as an auto scan feature if needed. Then once your settings are configured, to scan your document, simply click the scan button located in the bottom right corner or use the foot pedal if you have it connected. Then in a few seconds, the scan takes place and you'll see your new document appear in the left sidebar. You can also preview it here if you want by clicking on it. And check that out, we have a flat single page of my daughter's math book. The quality is super high def too. I was extremely impressed with the image quality whenever I first used this scanner. It's super fast too. Okay, but what if you don't want two pages at once? Let's say you need to scan this book page by page. In that case, select the facing pages processing method. And then within the image of the book on the left, a dotted line will appear. You'll wanna adjust the book so that the center of the book's pages aligns with that line. Then once everything's lined up, click the scan button again located in the bottom right corner. And in a few moments again, we now have two images of each page. Again, you can access them here in the left sidebar. And I should also point out that you can export and download these images to your computer within the preview interface, which I'll show you in just a bit. But again, overall, I'm extremely impressed with the quality of these scans. Looks great. Okay, for the sake of time, that's the only book we'll be scanning in this part of the tutorial. However, feel free to experiment with different color modes and processing methods here. Also, remember you could access help docs and video tutorials if you need some extra assistance. Just head over to caesar.com and go to the download software section, and there you could access digital guides and videos to help you along. All right, now that we've scanned some documents, if you click the back button located in the upper left corner, that will take you to the preview environment where you can see your last scan doc as well as filter through all of your scans here. Then on the left, you'll see a sidebar. This is where you can export your scans and perform batch actions like changing the colors, adding watermarks, cropping, printing, etc. But keep in mind, these are batch actions. Then below that, you could export the scans in various formats such as Word docs, Excel, PDFs, etc. Then towards the bottom center is another toolbar, but here you could edit a single page. You can add a QR code, crop it, change the color mode, etc. These allow you to adjust any single scan you have selected in the preview environment. Okay, next, let's move on and use the visual presenter. The Caesar Shine Ultra's visual presenter mode transforms the scanner into a versatile document camera, ideal for live presentations, remote teaching, and virtual meetings. Equipped with a built-in HD camera and microphone, it captures and streams documents, books, or objects placed beneath its lens in real time. This functionality is particularly beneficial for educators and professionals who need to share physical materials during online sessions or during presentations. And to use it from the preview interface, select Visual Presenter. Then in the bottom right corner, click the play button, and this opens the Visual Presenter live interface. Very similar to the scanner in that we have the document on the left and the toolbar on the right. However, this is interactive. As you can see, you have the ability to draw a line or use the laser pointer. You can even zoom in and zoom out, etc. This is great for presenting in a classroom or business setting, or you can even record what you're doing to the document and save it in a video format. And let's do just that. So to create your video, simply click the video icon located in the bottom right corner. Then, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there in the bottom, click the red record button. And this will actually enable the recording as well as enable the sound recording as well. Remember, it's recording what's being captured on the camera 
as well as the ambient sound around you. So you can record a live session for an online course or a tutorial. There are a ton of educational use cases for this feature. Then when you're done, just click that little stop button And then to turn the record feature off, click the camera icon again. Then let's head back to the preview environment. So click the back button in the upper left corner. And from here at the bottom of the screen, if you click the play button, you'll get to preview the video. And because the Shine Ultra projects a live video feed of whatever is placed beneath its camera, it eliminates the need to scan or photograph materials in advance. This real-time interaction helps replicate the experience of being in the same room, allowing for spontaneous explanation, discussion, and even collaboration. Coupled with its annotation and video recording features, the visual presenter mode becomes a powerful asset for making virtual communication more engaging, interactive, and clear. All right, moving on. Next, let's go over how to use the foot pedal for some hands-free scanning. So my scanner came with the foot pedal. As you saw in the intro, we connected the foot pedal to the scanner and doing so will give me the ability to scan documents and create video without using my mouse. But another reason to use the foot pedal is when your hands aren't free. For example, you may have to use the finger cots, and remember they're designed to make book scanning smoother and more efficient. When you're working with thick or curved books, especially near the spine, the pages tend to lift or curl, which can affect the scan quality. But these cots let you hold the corners down gently without interfering with the scanned image. And what's really smart is the pattern printed on the tips, the black and white dots and lines, this allows the software to recognize the pattern and automatically removes your fingers from the final scan. So even though your hands are in the frame, they won't show up in the output. And since your hands are occupied, you can't click the scan button with your mouse. So that's when the foot pedal comes into play. After it's connected, simply tap on it once with your foot and this will automatically scan the document. It's a small detail, but it saves a ton of time during scanning, especially if you're working with a large number of pages. Now, I don't think I showed you this yet, but whenever you place the document under the camera, the auto border traces the document perfectly. Pretty cool. Then once again, instead of clicking the scan button with my mouse on the screen here, I'll simply use the foot pedal and it scans the document for me saving me some effort and making it more efficient when there are a large number of scans needed. So that wraps up our look at the Caesar Shine Ultra. Overall, I've been really impressed by how versatile and easy to use the scanner is. Whether you're digitizing books, showcasing documents, or presenting materials live during a virtual meeting or a class, the Shine Ultra gives you a clean, high quality image and seamless workflow. And those thoughtful details like the page holding finger cots and the automatic finger removal make a big difference when you're working quickly or scanning in bulk. And for content creators, educators, or anyone producing visual content on a regular basis, this device can easily become an essential part of your setup. It's not just about scanning, it's about presenting your ideas clearly and professionally. And if you're looking for a flexible tool that can elevate your teaching, tutorials, or documentation process, the Caesar Shine Ultra is definitely worth checking out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you found the tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop any questions that you have in the comments below. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.